So let me be blunt for a second here. I've kind of always been someone that mostly had his shit together. So I've never really been seriously derailed and depressed for months where I couldn't get out of bed. I've never really suffered with having a really, 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 really low paying job. I've never really suffered with just getting dumped over and over and over and over again. So I've never really been someone that you would call someone who does not have their stuff together. I mean, I got average grades. I've done a decent job of taking care of my health. Always been decently happy. Not too high, not too low. But in this video, I want to share three of the things I've noticed that have happened in the worst years of my life that's so different from the best years of my life. And if you're in a spot where you don't feel like you have your stuff together, how you can get it together with three specific habits. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day, which is upside down. I've also included a couple journaling prompts related to reinventing yourself, improving your life, goal setting. The first link in the description box there below is a free goal setting and kind of like a goal setting journaling cheat sheet. So click that link in the box there below. It'll help you figure out how to set some goals going forward through a journaling process. So in my life, one of the goals that has easily been the hardest that I've ever done has been starting a business. So for me with starting a business, I've literally perpetually felt like I don't have my shit together. Even though it's worked and I'm very methodical and deliberate, it's one of those things where I always feel like I'm failing, I always feel like I'm on the verge of failure, there's a constant feeling of scarcity because it does change rapidly and I know tons of people that have been successful and then have failed later, but overall it's led to this feeling of like, so much stuff to do, not enough time, can't get it figured out, And I know that for many of you that have talked to me, you feel like that's your whole life. Like, how do I get my life together? And to me, I've noticed there's a couple things that help really well. The first thing is feeling good. The second thing is having some kind of direction to work on. And the third thing is finding the easiest thing that's the most actionable. So when it comes to finding the easiest thing that's actionable, you know, I think if we actually, if we go back, for me, the essence of getting your life together, whatever it is, is feeling good because there are so many people who are depressed and that's the reason why they can't get themselves to do the workouts, the business they want to start, the arts business, whatever it is. And so everyone has had the experience of feeling down for a day or maybe a long time and you're laying in bed and you're like, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to get up. I don't want to eat. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to go hang out with my friends. I don't even want to watch Netflix. I don't want to do shit. So how are you going to get yourself, how are you going to get your life together when you don't want to do anything? So to me, the essence always has to be feeling good. And if you aren't someone who likes to work out or you don't have that ritual, that routine set, what I would do is I actually go through like a Tony Robbins 15 minute priming ritual. And I literally did that before these videos today because I was feeling so crappy and so tired from the weekend. So what I tend to do with like feeling good is 10 to 15 minutes of something that increases blood flow. Anything that gets your circulation going. It could literally be jumping up and down for 15 minutes. It could be doing an actual workout. It could be going for a walk. Anything that gets you awake and feeling better and blood flow going, and it's going to just release endorphins and make you feel better. So feeling good, to me, is the essence of changing. Because I don't understand how anyone can do anything when the whole day looks like this monster, this boulder they have to push uphill. So if you want to get your life together, in my opinion, start with things that make you feel good. Certainly in the most depressed years of my life, that if overall, we're overall in a funk, I was still functioning every day, but I was not happy. The the only thing I could rely on to feel good was going to the gym. So I did that as much as possible. The second thing is this concept of picking the smallest thing that's in your zone of influence. So what is the easiest thing that you can change? I know that certainly when I started my business, and even when I was trying to get fit, I didn't know what I was doing. I was never getting good results or any results. And so it led to this kind of existential angst where I was like, nothing I do has any effect anyway. And that's like a really dangerous place to be in, that kind of learned helplessness. Just like the dog that gets shocked, regardless of what they do, eventually they learn to stop trying to escape these cages. So with all this stuff going on, all these things that seem like they're out of your control, I want you to pick the smallest, easiest thing that you can control. And if it is your business, that may mean writing that blog post today. Not worrying about making $1,000 to eat, but just today, for this moment, you're going to write the blog post. 
If it's you have 100 pounds to lose, what's the thing you can do right now? I'm just going to go for a 10 minute walk while listening to a YouTube video. Don't worry about the 100 pound goal. Find the one thing now that definitely you can control that will make you feel good. If it's with a relationship, you're going to find one thing. Maybe you buy something nice for your partner. And that's what you're going to do right now to repair a damaged relationship that's on the fringe of ending. That's it. The, the thing that you can find in your bubble that's so easy because that's going to give you a mini win that's going to make you feel better. And then from there, getting your life together is about having some kind of direction. You know, I've shared the story of Earl Nightingale where he said that people are like ships where if there's no end point, it literally doesn't matter how slow or how fast you go. You're just going to be going around the world and the ocean like this. But a ship that has a concrete port that it's going to, it knows where it has to go. No matter how many times it gets off course, because it knows the direction, it can just course correct. And whether you have to course correct 10 times or a thousand times in your life, it doesn't matter because you have the direction you're going in and then you can honestly keep adjusting no matter how derailed you get. So I think without some kind of direction, whether it is like, I don't know what I love, but overall, I know this thing, being an artist, being an author, being a YouTuber, I don't know about what, but I know this thing is something that interests me and excites me. It feels good when I do it. Start with that, and then over time, that may gradually become more and more specific, more and more refined. So those are three things I would suggest if you're trying to get your shit together, your life is a complete mess, and whether it's been that way for a month or for five years, there's always things you can do to reinvent yourself. But for me, it definitely starts with feeling good on a daily basis because that will become the ultimate limitation, your physical body, if that's not already taken care of. So don't forget, I do have that journaling free e-course right there in the description. It's the very first link. Click that, sign up, and it's going to give you a few journaling prompts on how I use journaling to reinvent my life and some of the exercises that I've noticed have helped the most. So that's the first link in the description there below. You can also get my last two videos right here and right here.